Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection episode, whatever this is. I'm your host, oh. Dr. Jester. We are here at the Garden of the Great Cave Offensive, and we're here to get the last few treasures and finish this bullshit once and for all! Let's go! Finally, let's do it. Let's get all those treasures. Alright, so the way this is cut out is that we got three doors, just like the second area. Each door leads to their own treasures and their own puzzles, etc. Yada yada, blah blah, bullshit, you know, all that shit, nonsense. Okay, so here we go. Oh, cool, that... That window, is that showing showing uh, Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright? I believe it is, yes. Ooh! First secret, down this waterfall, because it's uh, the only one that's flowing. Oh, that's cool! That takes you to the first treasure of the last episode, Charm! Is that a crucifix? I think that's an Ankh, mate. Oh, sorry, it, it was really small and I couldn't see it. I thought we were going to fight Dracula after all this. Oh, no. It'd be cool if we fought Jesus, though, because what would happen if Kirby <laughs> inhales him? <laughs> So that cannon was a dud. Oh. The real cannon we go we want to get into is this third one, which is right now blocked by bomb blocks. Ah, I see. So we'll make a helper, eat these up. Takes care of that. But it doesn't matter because we you just hit broke it. We can use the fuses multiple times though, so. Oh, okay. But we're going to be heading to the second one. That's where we need to go in first, so... We can use the uh, afterburner of Jet to light the fuse. Oh, but seriously? I don't, think, I don't think I did at that time. Didn't do it right. You did not. Didn't do it like... There we go. Oh, that's so cool! When you charge up, you can light it. So you don't... You, it's not just fire you need, you can use other things. Hmm. But this one you gotta... This one you gotta do right. Top down. Don't hit that last one. Hmm. You get a Christmas tree! <gasps> a $40,000 Christmas tree?! Well, you gotta go up into the sky to get it. Yeah, it better be worth a lot. I was about to say, are we going to Trump Tower? Jesus Christ. I have the most heavenly... <laughs> Christmas tree. It's tremendous. <laughs> it's huge. It's, I'd say it's about 30, 40 feet. Some people even tell me it's 50. I've even heard it, it's up to 70 feet tall. I have a 100 foot tall Christmas tree. Stupendous. It's tremendous. I know we were talking about accents before this episode, but you kind of sounded like Trump and Steve Irwin, like cross fused together. Yeah, they're both orange guys, as far <laughs> as I know. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's a maze, right? This is the cloud maze. Yeah, the cloud maze. I... I'm not good at these. Because this is where I get Duck on Country 2 flashbacks. Mmm, yeah. It's, it's just, yeah, there's a path here, hidden in all these invisible blocks somewhere, but it's not quite invisible, and it takes me a while to figure it out. I just figured I it was because you always have your head in the clouds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, you've, oh, 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 you've, cert <laughs> you've certainly got an oh. elevated sense of humor. Oh. <laughs> There's a certain say, air about me in this episode. <laughs> I was about to say you were putting on airs. <laughs> oh, God, clouds. This guy right here. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that was it? Yeah, that's it. Ramia's scale. What's that? I don't know. It's a scale from Ramia. I'm sure she won it back, but, you know, whatever. She's not here to take it back, so I'm gonna hold on to it for now. If she wants it, she can come get it. Turns out that's Dynablade's code name. Oh shit! <laughs> She's coming back for her scales, Kirby! That's her dead name! <laughs> you can call me that on Saturdays, Kirby, alright? <laughs> I didn't want to take it there, but you took it there. But yes, I did, darling. Uh, yeah. All right, I need, I need to get in that door somehow. That's, that's, there's a treasure in that door. I need to get in there. I don't know how to get in there. There's got to be some way to get in there. What's the way to get in there? What the fuck? There's got to be some way. Did, did I ever tell you uh, what I did at one of my new jobs at one point a while ago? What did you do? Well, it was when I was working at the movie theater for a short stint. Uh, <laughs> one of the managers was trying to fun days. was trying to uh, remember my name. Yeah, that's a whole different story. But um, uh, she said, "Do you prefer 
my real name or my, my full long name. And I said, oh, you can call me whatever you want, just as long as you don't call me daddy. And uh, the other managers, they, they, took, they took a quick look and they started laughing. But the uh, female manager I was talking to, she... Uh, there we go. Had, Sheesh. Oh, Jesus, dude. She uh, had an open mouth and then started laughing, to which I was like, okay, that was, that was safe. Hey, hey Gone Girl! It's... The right switch is always the way to go. Now we can move on. Great, great story. I will never call you daddy. Good, don't. Just call me your dream daddy. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna put you as DLC for that game, or make a mod, <laughs> made a daddy Niskel mod. No, 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 don't. I don't want to be a dream daddy. Ah, <laughs> right, here we go. It's a uh, pretty tricky racing minigame. Oh, uh, oh! But man, that thing closes fast. Jeez. So, you push the button, and then book it. Yep, push oh, the button. Oh. I, I pushed it, so... Here we go! Man, jump! Oh, I can't, I can't really jump. It's already closed, damn! Sheesh. So you can't jump while in wheel. No. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do the wheelie rider thing then. Cause you can jump with wheelie rider. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> oh god! I fucking fly with this thing. Boom! Whoa! Oh! Uh, oh! And yeah, of course. I would love mm. if it stayed open just to taunt you. It's just like, oh, you tried, buddy. Come here. And then it just closes right when you're two inches <laughs> near, no matter what. Exactly. Like that one racer guy in Ocarina of Time. Yes. The jerk. Die. Oh, God. What? Oh, shit. Hmm. There's, there's a trick here. There is. There really is. The trick is Go. to never play. Jump. Ah, uh, yes. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. One more smash uh, against the wall, Wheelie. There we go. You get a tire. No. Uh, That's Wheelie's oh, brother. What'd you do to him? You've rescued him, but it was too late. At what cost? <laughs> if only you hadn't failed the race like five other times. What did they do to his eyes? His eyes! Now, does he have one big eye or, or two eyes? I, I think it's two eyes, one on each side. Ugh. <laughs> My tires are watching where I drive. That was pretty easy. You just use a helper to jump into that one. Shiny, Shiny bamboo! Shiny bamboo? You ever read the tale of Princess Kaguya? Uh, no. If you played any Japanese video game, you've probably seen elements of it. Did well, we discuss this during Doom? We probably did. Probably. So here's the Cliff Notes version. Alien baby comes down to Earth. Farmer takes care of her until she grows up and then she goes home. Oh. It's sad. It's sad. Oh, okay. God, I love <coughs> sleep. Sleep's the best power. I just wasted time. Because everyone was sleeping during my Japanese literature lectures. <laughs> It's like, whatever, just play Persona 5 already. <laughs> I still think it's going to be hilarious. First episode is going to be posted whenever I feel like it. You'll never see it coming. I still like my idea of just playing on November 11th, hanging out in LeBlanc <laughs> for an hour and 31 minutes. Whoa! That's above the recommended timeline, Atlas. What are you going to do? Are you getting buried alive? What is this? Yeah. Blocks are constantly falling from this part. Kind of like that one stage in Super Smash Brothers. So you can either inhale them like that, or you can use a buddy to get up like that. Oh. Or you can just die and quit or whatever. You could just be a failure. Well, that's why there's parasol right outside, so if you need it, you can get it. Oh. Is so that... We're still, we're still looking good on trenches. Just a few more to go. Hmm. That's good, that's good. There's a star here, but you don't want to miss this door right up here. 
Gosh, you do know all the secrets, Mr. UDJ. Can you teach me the ways of Kirby? <laughs> <laughs> All right, child, patience. Head inside this top left door and... Okay, there's no there's no treasure here, really. Hey, right. Wow! I fooled you, you stupid, dumb child. Mr. Huge, why? Now go back to sixth grade and fail chemistry. But I can't play Kirby in failure. That's the thing. Kirby will never treat you like a failure, except when you fail, then, well, you fail. So, okay. <laughs> It'll never treat you like a failure, except when you fucking suck. If, if you fail, you fail. I mean, that, that, that's the breaks. <laughs> that, that's true. Th so, this, uh, oh. that, that was the story that takes you back to the beginning. So oh. now we can go into the second one here, where there's a couple little uh, things to learn. First one is here, and then down here, and then treasure. Oh, it's a Pegasus wing, or feather, really, because that's a pretty tiny wing for a gigantic horse. How many people are going to correct you and say, No, it's not. Let me go ahead and save real quick. Get a tomato. And people can correct, correct me all they want. I just have the choice to listen. That's true. Maybe I should go with that philosophy. Sometimes I shouldn't I... respond to anything ever. Yeah. <laughs> You should just be pretentious and only, you know, in a sacred, <laughs> chosen feels like, Oh my god, the mythical commented on my comment! <laughs> he must deem me worthy of conversation. Oh, I'll only respond if you praise me, okay? Do it, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I think you should delete all negative comments, because really, <laughs> who wants to see that? I mean, come on. Um, actually, you missed something in this level. Yeah, okay, deleted. <laughs> I am the best. Uh, go to GameFAQs and tell someone who cares, okay? <laughs> really, though, we open all, we accept all comments and uh, have an open mind about all this stuff. But we also reserve the right not to comment because we don't want to. Also, play off the record. <laughs> Persona off the record, five rising three. <laughs> oh, people really want everything. And I cannot provide. We are just two people. And we want to do our own thing. Now, if no, we were exactly. we were getting paid big Patreon bucks and got like <laughs> thousands of dollars from our MCNs, <laughs> well then it, it's, that'd be a little different then. Can we actually title this Kirby episode The Great Cave Offensive colon The Cry for Help? I think at this point we deserve that. <laughs> yeah, I think we can do that. Maybe we could start adding like and subscribe to the end of videos. Oh my god! Well, I think Kirby's death improves that's a no. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, fair enough. It's like, say, say a bad idea, Kirby dies. So always have mm. good ideas. Gotcha. How about... Uh... Hold on, let me think of, a, of an awesome idea. Uh... Day one LP of, uh... I don't know, Dangarampa V3. Because <laughs> those always go well. Damn it, Kirby's not dying. Alright. Never mind. That's a good idea then. Oh no. No! Don't do it! You should have a day one LP of Danganronpa V3, but it should be just, like, of your face. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll do a face cam and that's all you'll see. You won't actually see game footage. Yeah, and, like, don't even read anything. Just go, Oh, wow! That's crazy! <gasps> oh, no way! I can't believe she... Oh, no! Oh, no snap! No freaking oh. way! Then turns out I'm playing, like, Yoshi's Island or something like that. You're playing Solitaire. That bitch! Oh, it's just the Queen of Hearts. That's one hell of a game he's playing. That sheesh. <laughs> you know what? That might not be a bad idea. <laughs> For everybody wanting it, sure. I'll do it. Day one, let's play. One episode. Uh, absolutely bullshit my way through looking at a blank screen. You know, I think I realized. I don't think I like Dug and Rump as much as you. No, you don't. Because I, uh, that. I picked up Danganronpa Reload for PS4, so I can finally play. I can, I can let's play it now, guys, if you really want. 
<laughs> yeah, because uh, especially the first game. I don't like the first game too much. It's uh, it makes me cry. It's, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I love the style, I love the music, I love the characters. The story's pretty good, but man, playing it is a chore. Sometimes <laughs> a, it is, yes. As a game, it is a chore. Stick to the visual novel aspect, guys. Yeah, I mean, what else could they go do? Go to a third-person shooter over the shoulder? <laughs> That's a bad idea. Yeah, I didn't play that. How'd that do? <laughs> well, you'll have to find out later. Okay. You don't have to play it. Trust gotta, me, you don't. I got a Vita. I think I have to. That you, you really don't. Because I have a strange feeling you won't finish it. Yeah, I, get, I, I got a Vita in 2017. That's like uh, marrying a terminal lung cancer patient <laughs> who's literally in a coma right now. <laughs> well, I mean, the Vita is on the brink of death. That's precisely the metaphor yeah, I was going exactly. for. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, Vita, I love you. And Ori Calcon, nice. So we got and... two left now. Two oh treasures my gosh. left. We're nearing the end. Is that all? Where's, oh. this, where's this one go down? Does this lead to, oh, that's just a way around if I didn't figure out oh. the crash puzzle. So, all right. We got two oh, so that's, that's yep. the only thing you could use is crash? Yeah, I, th I think so. M maybe yo-yo would work. Maybe a couple other things. Maybe plasma mm -hmm. even. But crash was there and available and that worked. Cool. Let's take us back to the beginning so we can go through the third door, which will take us forward and to our last two treasures and to the final boss. Oh my gosh, this just flew on by, didn't it? Yeah, much better than the castle. We got one more thing, we got a head left. We don't get that one up, but we can go down this platform here, and then down this one to get... Oh man. The platinum ring. Nice. But we kind of have to go all the way back though. Darn it. That's all right though. Oh, what a jerk. Just slashed you in the face. You gonna take that? I killed him already. So, yeah. Kirby is the swift executioner. All right. This is the last room. They want to Which keep means you the treasure has been missed, right? They want to keep you here as long as possible, though, because they got these springs down here. You gotta be careful, otherwise they're gonna jump you right back up a few floors. Play Great Cave Offensive. Play Great Cave Offensive. Always play Great Cave Offensive. And you head on down here. There's another spring. And there's the last treasure! It's the best one of all! Pile of shit. Oh, it's, it's the, the Triforce! Triforce! Nice! Yeah! And that is all 60 treasures for a total of 9999990 Gs. Cool! Good job! Let's go finish this shit. Alright, so now your next collection series is going to be all the Korok seeds, right? <laughs> go well, ahead, get all 900 of them. Get your pile of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you were making the big bucks on YouTube and making thousands of dollars for <laughs> Patreon or MCN, well, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Kirby and wackiness. Alright, so here we go for no, the final boss. Doing. Do it. I don't even have a Patreon. Whoa! Is this Bongo Bongo? Wham. You know how to fight him now, right? This is Wham Bam. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh no! He didn't, Robbie Brothers. He didn't stand no chance. No, he he didn't. Jeez. Dead. Ugh. Harsh. Only his hands are vulnerable, but uh, his hands do hurt. They're like entire gigantic hitboxes. Cause, oh one thing he, Cause one thing he likes to do is he likes to slam his fist down and then Ooh. open up his palm. Well, that extends his hitbox, so if you want to hit him with a hammer or something, you're going to end up getting hurt yourself. So, long distance and ranged is the way to go. And uh, I also recommend not dying like so. Hmm. Well? So you're not going to believe what works really well in this situation. Hmm. No. Not bomb. Umbrella? 
The parasol. Oh. I know. Oh. I, I was surprised too. Because every time you shake the parasol, it like throws a little stardust or whatever. Maybe it's supposed to be like droplets of rain. Oh. That hurts pretty good. It's got your distance. But also, it has the added benefit of uh, protecting from these falling rocks. I was thinking about that. That's so cool. Uh huh. You're also far enough away so that way he can't hurt you. And, well, there's that. <laughs> that I didn't even take that much damage. Interesting. So now you get to use the hover boots and beat this guy, right? Now, if only I had an umbrella in Ocarina of Time. It would have been, <laughs> that, would, that would have been the game changer. But, by the way, I found out that when he comes towards you, you can use the Master Sword. I thought, oh. I, I thought I needed another arrow, so I just beat him with all arrows. So go me! After a few attempts. <coughs> yeah. Well, you know. Ah, uh, you know how it is, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, that was it. That was the Great Cave Offensive. Oh, shoot. Where do we go from here? Well, we're going to take a trolley for one more uh, oh. little transitionary piece to a bit of a cool down. The upward climb to the exit. Ah, we're going second star on the right straight on till morning. Let's go, Kirby. Let's go. Oh. I want to I know how a cave is in outer space, but, you know, whatever. I, th I, th I think this was a cave we were not supposed to see. I think this would have been the setting for an 80s horror film. <laughs> you know, uh, the p portal that leads between dimensions and all that. And this place exactly. might look familiar. Oh, is this the opening? It's the very end. Well, it's a copy of the opening, but uh, yeah, it's supposed, to, it's supposed to make it feel oh. like it's an entire loop around. Because there's a star, and away you go. Well, holy crap, look at that. And that's Great Cave Offensive. So that's why you could cool. fly out. There was a rock block in the way, like I figured. So, so where'd the star come from? Uh, power of love. Okay. Now I'm good with that. So pretty much. So now what it's doing is just listing off all the treasures, all of them. So does Kirby? He's just flying back regularly, right? Yep, he's just like, oh man, I need to breathe all that uh, nasty cave air. I got the black lung. So well, I was just thinking, well, what if he starts hold my like, breath by doing it though? But you know, what if he starts dropping all of his treasures to the people of Dreamland? Would they be appreciative of getting like a ten gold saucepan? I hope that dud is really a dud then. Oh, oh god, oh god! Don't do it, Kirby! Don't do it! Drop the saucepan, a bucket falls on Mario's head. Oh no! You drop the essence of summertime and it becomes all super hot. Maybe he drops all these things and they land into Nintendo characters before they became Nintendo games and it's... <sighs> uh, it all comes oh back to Kirby! Oh my god. Kirby is the genesis of every Nintendo game. He is the link that gives us all light. <laughs> That's funny. Apparently he caused the Egyptians, too, so. <laughs> oh, he, at least he caused Earthbound, so that works. Drops a mannequin on Frank West, and then he can fight zombies. That's awesome. Yeah, no wonder why the mannequin torso was so powerful. It's just left over from <laughs> Kirby's remnant Kirby. of ability. <laughs> he brings along a harsh winter. Man, do not let me direct the next Project Cross Zone. <laughs> I'll make it make more sense and less sense. Uh, all 60 treasures, eh? Yeah. So what do we do now? Well, we sit here and wait for these last few treasures here. We, we're almost done. Platinum ring, and there's the Triforce. I can't believe the Triforce is actually purchasable. Well, back then it was just golden triangles instead of sacred infused stuff. Maybe, I, I don't think they found out about this ah, stuff until way later, so. Gotcha. So now Kirby <laughs> sits as the richest mogul what? in all of Nintendo. <laughs> yes! Oh, I love that. He Scrooge McDuck's his money now, every day. Kirby Tales. Woo! Kirby, yes. So, uh, oh. yeah, that's, that's, that's it. We got a nice little uh, little pin, and 
just like the same one with Dino Blade, and we got a win for Gourmet Race, so... Yeah, that's it. Next time on Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection, we're doing Revenge of Meta Knight! Oh. Revenge of Meta Knight! Okay. Revenge of Meta- <laughs>